Hey there, everybody, Luke here. Just wanna walk you through what I think is a super helpful tool that you may or may not know about inside of the sheet metal face command. And that is the ability to add bends while you're creating the face. Typically what I would do is I would create a face and I'd hit apply and I'd go to bend and I'd pick my edge and pick my edge and create the bend between those two. It's extra steps, you can see how many picks and clicks it took. You can also see it create separate features in the browser. But did you know that you can actually create bends during the creation of the face? So I can pick the face, I can go to my edges for the bend. I always wondered why this was here. Maybe you wondered the same. I can pick that edge and I can create the exact same piece of geometry with fewer clicks and fewer features inside of my browser. Now there's some options inside of here just to be aware of. The first one is this perpendicular to side face for the extend bend and the align to side face. The perpendicular is essentially going to take the two faces you click and I'm gonna do a 45 degree and I'm gonna use this flip fixed edge to decide which one I want to move and which one I want to stay stationary. So I want that edge to stay and I only want to extend that amount of material up to that edge. I can choose apply. The other option, if I would choose that, would actually stretch that entire face over. We'll pick this edge here. I'll go over to here. I will do that 45 degrees again. You can see again, I can choose that flip fixed edge. This time, if I turn on extend aligned, when I choose apply, that entire face stretches to meet that particular angle. And then the last two, uh, these are essentially the same thing. One just does a 90 and one does a full radius. If I pick my edges, you can see that you have full radius and 90 degrees. You can choose whichever one you want. Make sure you use the right flip uh, here. Uh, obviously, that's not gonna work. You can see the preview, it's gonna fail. Uh, but here, it's actually going to create a full radius on this back side. I don't want it to extend that face all the way over, so I'll uncheck that and I will hit OK. Not sure why that didn't take. Let's edit that feature and let's change that to a full radius and okay, and there we go. Another thing inside of that face tool that you need to be aware of, if I share that sketch, is you can actually adjust the bends. So if you did wanna come in here and adjust the relief shape, uh, the width, the depth, the remnant, uh, the transition, you have all of those options all inside of the face command leveraging the bend option. So hopefully uh, you check this out and uh, give it a shot and make your sheet metal parts faster with fewer features. Thanks everybody, have a great day.